Greece is hoping to welcome back tourists this summer. The Greek tourism minister says that it's entirely possible to, as the lockdown comes to an end, that the country can start welcoming back uh, uh, various guests and tourists. Some stores are uh, to soon reopen. Now, bearing in mind, tourism makes up nearly 20%, some say 25% of the Greek economy. It's an exceptionally important part of the GDP and revenues because of the number of people it employs and those at the lower end of the economic scale. Harry Theotaharis is the Greek tourism minister. He joins me from Athens. Minister, it is good to have you with me. Uh, you're on record as saying you hope to open tourism safely this summer. How do you do that safely? Well, by um, showing the kind of responsibility, showing the kind of uh, trust-building uh, techniques that we did uh, during the crisis. Uh, you know very well, uh, Richard, that Greece during the crisis showed leadership in the way uh, of dealing uh, both effectively and in a way that uh, conveys uh, the message of responsibility to the citizens. The same um, logic will apply as we gradually open up the economy and we open up our connectivity with uh, other countries. So, first of all, before we even, well, talk before we finish about how you're going to do it, but you're going to need common standards, aren't you, from all destinations. A, to make sure that nobody breaks out there and, and there's no breakout, but also so that it's a zero sum, it's a flat playing field. <coughs> Excuse me. Are you hoping Europe is going to provide that leadership for common ground? Well, we're not just hoping, we're pushing uh, to that effect. Uh, you know, the, the, a few days ago, we had a summit of tourism ministers, and um, uh, most of the tourism ministers uh, stressed the need for common standards uh, that will allow flying. And we, we have seen various, unfortunately, diff different kind of messages from different countries uh, sometimes in terms of whether it's uh, people should consider uh, vacationing or even flying. Uh, we're hoping that those messages will um, um, again um, come back to the common sense, which is that the economists have to restart. You know very well that uh, through business is uh, the way to create the wealth that needs to support the health systems right. that uh, we so much need now. But, but uh, you know, the first thing is you've got to get people there. And that requires aircraft yep. in most cases. And that's a whole raft of issues you were hearing perhaps before the break, Alexander de Juniac. And then once they're there, you've got to have hotels and you've got to have restaurants. And I mean, is it realistic to expect decent numbers this summer when social distancing and anxiety will be of main concern? Well, of course, this is uh, an inflection point for uh, tourism uh, in general. Uh, on the, in the short term, we have to um, find a different kind of model, a different kind of way of operating during this summer where the risks are actually heightened. Uh, and of course, we are in constant discussion with our medical experts, the ones that have guided us through so uh, thoroughly um, and so well, actually, our Prime Minister heeding to her um, uh, warnings and right. to the suggestions, and that's why we have such a flat uh, curve. So um, we will talk to them, and we are talking to them, to come up with the protocols and the standards, the procedural standards, as well as the requirements for, right. for uh, tests, etc., for people to travel. This is the way to do it. But of course, long term, tourism will change. You know very well that the uh, this is uh, such a so shock that will uh, affect uh, people's uh, way of traveling and their uh, way of uh, vacationing, that's for sure. Right, but, but, but let me pick you up on this, if I may, because Greece did very well, as you say, during the crisis and flattening the curve. Largely, many would say, because the, you, know, they, 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 you knew that you didn't want the health service to be overwhelmed. Can you show the same determination to enforce social distancing and necessary measures to prevent an, a, a, an outburst when it comes to the holiday season. Some would say it's not possible, Minister. 
Well, um, we beg to differ. Um, if, if there's something that we gained out of this um, uh, crisis, uh, Greece, Greece uh, always been shown us um, as, if you like, the, the, the black sheep of the family. Now Greece is uh, the good example. And this happened not just through the um, exceptionally good decisions of this government, but also through the, this kind of responsibility that the Greek populists have shown during uh, this uh, um, episode. And um, right. what, we, what we can expect is the same kind of responsibility from Greek hoteliers, from Greek professionals, will be shown during the summer. So we will certainly supply the protocols that needs to be adhered. We will actually do the auditing as well. But uh, certainly we expect right. and we will have the cooperation that's required.